So for the um, following parts of the, this unit, I'm going to go work through various types of the exceptions that you might see in your code and explain kind of what's causing them, why, why you get them. Um, so we're going to start off looking at the exceptions that will stop your code from even starting. So these are things which are so badly wrong with the way you've written your program that Python is just going to give up and say, I'm not even going to get far as trying to execute your code. Um, and so that's what we're going to look at. So the, the first one, and, and probably the most common one you're going to get, particularly as a beginning programmer, um, is a syntax error. Um, so a syntax error means there is a mistake in your code that stops Python even from trying to understand what's going on there. So most often when you have a syntax error, it's probably um, some missing punctuation, or you've mismatched quotes or braces, or you've made some kind of simple typo in a, um, a, a, a keyword, or you might have missed out uh, a, a part of the syntax. So um, one of the ones I'm always forever doing is I, I write for variable range 100. I forget the word in. Um, and so it returns a syntax error and says, oh, you should have had the word in there. Um, so in general, um, the, these will be um, indicated um, in the trace back when you get it. It'll tell you exactly what the line was, where the problem was. Um, the um, uh, exception can be um, in cases where you've got things like mismatched brackets or uh, non-ending quotes, that it will give you a slightly confusing message maybe that tells you either the error is on the next line or in this case where the error was on the last line it tells you it reached EOF. EOF stands for end of file. Uh, it's saying when it tried working out what this was doing it reached the end of the file and it didn't hadn't finished the expression. Um, so it's a syntax error. The other type of error you can get quite easily that will stop your code from running um, is an indentation error and occasionally you might see its more specialized version, which is tab error. So an indentation error is itself a form of syntax error. So it's a more specialized version of syntax error. And it's caused by having an inconsistent number of spaces at the start of a block of code. So if a, a block of code is all supposed to be uh, together, then it must have the same number of spaces at the start of each line. If you suddenly change the number of spaces, for no good reason, then you get an indentation error. Remember that every time you increase the amount of indentation in your code, the line before you do that should end with a colon um, in Python. So um, uh, sometimes you get an indentation error because it thinks you it, 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 it's missing a colon um, off the previous line. Um, and then a tab error uh, is more unusual and basically it happens when you edit your code in a programming editor that's not aware that uh, tabs and spaces can't be used interchangeably in Python. Um, so a tab character might look like it's eight spaces, but it's not eight spaces, there's only one. There's only one tab character there. Most Python programming environments such as Jupyter Notebooks or the Spider IDE or other Python IDEs know about this. And when you hit tab, they go, oh, no, I'm not giving you a tab. I'm going to give you four spaces instead. And so you're very, unu very unusual to see this error unless you start editing your code in a non-Python aware text editor as well, in which case it's really, really easy to get this error. So basically don't edit your code in something that doesn't know about Python. Um, so here I've, I've shown, I've just cr created a line where I've increased the indent by one. And so it then tells me that the um, I have an unexpected indent. Um, you can also get it telling you an unexpected unindent, meaning it's you've, you've reduced the number of indents and it hasn't explained why. The next error to talk about is an import error. And again, it's more specialized version module not found error. So actually, strictly speaking, this isn't the thing that stops your code from running. It happens when your code does start running. But because in most Python programs, you really ought to have those import statements at the stop of the file, at the first thing you do, it tends to be an error that happens before your code really gets going doing anything useful. So an import error happens when you try to import a function from the wrong module, or alternatively, when the module import fails in some way. 
then module not found uh, error is a more specialized format of an import error. And that happens when you try to import a module and Python can't find that module. So it doesn't exist on your computer. Usually that means, well, usually it means you made a typo in the import statement, but if you haven't made a, a, a typo in the import statement, it probably means you're missing some sort of package from your uh, installation of Python. So I said import errors happened when um, you tried importing uh, a non-existent function. The other time it can happen is actually if the module you're trying to import has some error in it. So when you do import some module, what actually happens is you run the code that's inside that module file. So every module that you're importing is actually a, a file that exists on your computer. Um, some of these are um, files that are, are in um, uh, pre-compiled machine code um, that you can't look at, but you can also have modules that are written in Python. Um, in fact, as we'll see later on, any Python file can be used itself as a module. So when you do import, um, say, blog, um, then what happens is your Python will go looking for a blog.py file, and that blog.py file should contain some code, some code in Python, and it will run that file. Now, hopefully that blog.py file just defines a bunch of functions, but um, if it doesn't, and if something goes wrong whilst it's trying to run that file, and it throws an exception trying to run that file as you're importing it, it's going to get reported back to your program as an import error, basically meaning blog.py is, is broken. Um, and so we're raising an import error. Generally speaking, you shouldn't see import errors caused by that reason until you start writing your own modules. OK, so here's an example, just simply misspell numpy. Um, clearly, somebody hadn't ever seen it written and just heard it um, and took a guess at its spelling. And it tells you there's no such module. 